There we go. All right, so let's try and pick the big rocks out the best we can. Because this gold, obviously, right here, I'm probably messing with the crawdad's home. Guarantee there's probably a crawdad underneath here. Oh, yeah. Let's keep going. I think there's going to be more gold to be had here. More gold to be had here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go get some. Oh, yeah. anchor it here so I can get right next to where I'm digging or where I'm pumping whatever I mean we're, we're in an area where we could find big pieces of gold because I'm on top of bedrock, guys, and we already know we found feelers. We found feelers right here. Let's keep going. Okay, let's just keep going right here. Dang it. Stay still. Clean bedrock, clean bedrock. Here we come, clean bedrock. I mean, I still see some material on top of bedrock up here. Rock jam. Rock jam. Okay, let's see. Let's just see. All right, let's pan it out. Check the chat and pan it out. I'm interested to see how this ends out. Good old panning, says Chit. You know it, buddy. That's what we're doing, having fun. Everybody click on that link for uh, all things country. Waste a lot of time. Keep the gold for yourself. There's no time being wasted out here. I mean, what about what about catch and release fishing? Let me ask you that question. Is catch, a, catch and release fishing a waste of time? If you're a fisherman? Probably not. So, at least I get to take something home. At least I get to take something home. So I highly recommend it. Good exercise. Stress relief. I mean, I keep the gold because it's a souvenir for the hard work I put in and all the fun I had. But I don't do it for the value of the gold. It's awesome. The flower gold. Don't they have a collection of flower gold at the museum? It's very gorgeous. They don't have a collection. Yeah, they don't. They don't. So we're gonna we're gonna pass that along to them. Uh, not all of my gold. We're just gonna pass along what we got in Yahula Creek during our live streams this year. So uh, right now we got about 3.4 grams to donate to the museum, but it's almost all micro flower. We're looking for chunks right here. Do I have a dredge? I do not have a dredge. I want one. I want one. But they're expensive. I'm not ready to buy one right now. Rather pay off a few things first before I drop money on a dredge. Somebody could donate a dredge to me though if you wanted to. I got hand dredge yet, Tim. Uh, we don't want to use those words. So we, we don't call it that around here. So it's a yabby pump or a hand pump. 
That other word, I don't know what that means. We don't use that word. We don't use that word. You're broke, Carlos. Carlos is not gonna buy me a dredge. It's okay, babe. You don't have to buy me a dredge. All right. So where are we at? An hour and a half in, so that means two and a half hours in overall because of our one hour live stream that failed. So I'm gonna go in and edit the name of that and call it part one. So this will be part two. Just enjoy, I am enjoying, sir. I'm definitely enjoying myself, if you can't tell. I really do like this. And it's really cool that I get to share it with you guys on my channel. This is how I learned how to find gold by watching other YouTubers. As a matter of fact, I got a playlist. So if you go to my channel and then you click on playlists, uh, one of my playlists is gold prospecting videos that I found most helpful. And uh, there's a lot of different videos from different channels in there. Watch those and you'll learn a lot about finding gold. Promise, promise. But watch out, because you just might catch the feet. How it happens someday. Looks good. New River has to have a, a little goes through North Carolina, Virginia. Yeah. All right. Let me get my little finishing pan and finish it. Woo. Almost bit it. Almost bit it. That happens. Be careful when you're uh, gold prospecting, guys, hanging out in creeks with wet rocks. It can be dangerous. You have family in Summersville, so you could check that out too. Awesome. $50 pan. Come on, you got it. All right, let's go check. I'm hoping so, buddy. If I get a $50 pan, dude, I'm going to, woo, I'll probably scream. Cause that'd be one of my best pans. That probably that would be my best pan of my life. <laughs> a fifty dollar pan. So far, the best pan of my life is like a eight dollar pan. Which is still good. I'll take an eight dollar pan. How about you? Had like a little point one picker. I guess that's more like seven dollars now. I don't know. I think I seen something yellow in there. And if that was gold, it wasn't small. I hope it was gold. Okay, let's get that bigger one out of there. Alright, let's go ahead and check it out. Let's go ahead and check it out, guys. Let's see, the quick rollback, let's see if there's picker. No way, no way. Okay, if that's gold, I'm gonna flip out, guys. It's gold, woo! Is it a picker? Yes, it is, ladies and gentlemen. I got a black stained picker. Wow. Okay. All right. Let me let me rinse the water out because we got to see if it makes a sound in the pan. Oh yeah, it does. Okay, you ready? Ready? You guys hear that? Woohoo! We got a picker, guys. Nice, 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 nice. Let me show you how stained it is. Woo! Hey, I like this uh, tenured branch, guys. Painted weighted glitter. You guys heard it? Look at it. Look, look how stained it is. Look at that. That's a Georgia nugget right there. Look at that. Look how stained it is.
Look at that! Look at that! I knew, I thought I seen something yellow in there, guys. I knew it. I knew it. Okay. Yeah, buddy. Woo! Look at that! Heck yeah, dude. That's a crazy little, look how dark it is. I mean, it's obviously gold, 100%. It's heavy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. I don't know. I don't know, Tim, how much it weighs. I don't think it's, I don't think it beats 0.1, man. It's definitely weighable gold. But I'm stoked. Yeah!